Hello guys, it's a new tutorial about uh, VR Manager and for the Oculus Quest native project. And I want to tell you how you can change the static mesh for unique buttons and you can change the size of the widget for unique widgets inside uh, like 3D menus or what we have here. And for this I will show you what I mean when we press simulate we will have these buttons, unique buttons, and how we can change the size or how we can change the like different meshes, not like coops. The stuff I want to show you. Okay, we need to go to the main menu, blueprint, and inside we have the two child classes here, and we just bind events for them. We can see these classes, but it's the parent class, we need to open it. We need to go to this parent class. Mm. You can see this is button, but we change all time the name and the different enum type. And here, uh, on the start, we can play, we bind event when we press, but it's widget, when we press widget from the widget direction, if we will have some widget direction, laser or something, when we press from the widget direction, it will be called this event. And we will call animation for button pressing. Also, on the touch, you can add the animation from the controller when you touch it, it's like pawn or character. When in the VR mode you touch the button, it will be play animation. And on finish of this animation, we call this event. And with this event, we call event, we press this button and we need to do something. And inside here, inside this button, we need to add uh, how to change this mesh to unique uh, like buttons and how we can change the size of the this widget because sometimes maybe we need to make it bigger like this or make smaller this widget mm. yeah sometimes we need to change mm. and i will show you how you can do this uh, first you need to drag and take reference for static mesh and it's in the construction script and we need to write set static mesh yeah and here we need to connect it and we need to create a new variable from here when we take it and promote the variable it will be take static mesh type and we need to name this like you know static mesh and I need to add it editable to change it from the another widget and another parts. And here we need to when we when we did this we like don't have mesh because we we don't put here anything and we need to choose like for test this little coop and we have again the button. Okay, we have this one. Now, uh, like simple, we need to change the, this widget size. For this, we need to drag this reference widget and write set scale. And we need to set relative scale 3D, not the world. The world is too big. Relative scale. We need to put it here. And we need to take again variable with this this new scale because if we will write the scale here it will be default for all and we need to to get a variable again promote the variable yeah, and write new which get scale and add editable here on the axis and we need to write what we have here 1 0 0.4 one zero point four and the last one is here i will just copy it 
Yeah. Now we have this setup. Now we can change what we can do with any button now. <laughs> and it's great. After this, we we done here. We add some new changes like for static mesh and the for the widget scale. We can go to the main menu and here we can add for default to every of them like default and we can see we have this new mesh but uh, when I check it in the viewport I can see okay it's had this M1 cube but I can add some some new mesh like here and you can see we don't have this button and if we will press this we will press not the button we will press this new mesh and we can work with it with this new mesh and uh, I can put here maybe some another stuff uh, like oh no it's too big mesh uh, maybe it's too small but oh yeah you can you can see this I will here reduce this camera speed and you can see here we have little mesh but we have it and this mesh and we can put to the end of the button different meshes and we can touch it and they are unique and it's very great also if you want you can change for this one uh, this like image or widget this is widget widget image you can change it like um, here it's a simple press one or maybe two and now we have bigger image and we don't need to create a lot of different blueprints we just override this one and we change the parameters inside and if we like test it if we will play you can see we have the new one new mesh and new size of the widget and you can actually make for this one for another one different of them And we have only one button and we override all times the some new parameters of text, world size, static mesh, this widget size, enum type where we have cat, dog or back to the menu. It's just like simple but you can actually check it and you can see it. And we can change it by default to the mesh. This one also to the mesh and we need, can here. Mm, write this type and we have the same what we get earlier and you can actually change and add more buttons like you can duplicate it and make it like more in the enum type add here and change the mesh or this one <laughs> like or make it bigger and play like this yeah it's all thank you for watching guys